Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome to our first episode. This is Tap to Tap to Tap. Tap, tap in. in. All right, so today we're going to start it off. Come on, join us. Let's go. So y'all heard the term mm -hmm. try it before you buy it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's tap into that. Let's tap into that. How you guys feel about trying it before you buy it? And what does that mean, first of all? I think trying it before you buy it, meaning... You're having a problem, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> meaning, should I try sex with my boyfriend before getting married to him? Correct. I say yes. Mm. 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 Now, I'm going to let you finish. Go I, I gotta hear this. I'm gonna be real because a lot of people say no out loud, but it's still yes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, man. So hey. Let me be real. Hey, okay. Give me real. Give me real. Right. Okay. Give me real. No out loud. Yes on the inside. Because they're they burning. <laughs> they're burning. I have to know if I like it before I get married to him. Because what if, like. If you like what, man? Excuse, excuse me. <laughs> like Kisa. Like what? His sex. Oh, oh shoot. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I have to know if I, if I like his sex before I get married to him. Example. If you like what, like sex, his sex. Oh, can his, he perform well? The motion in the oh, ocean. Can he, can he okay. perform well? Okay. What if we get to our honeymoon and I'm disappointed? Oh, uh, already? Uh, then what? Oh, that, that's death, it. Do you you done? Apart. That, that's your that's your reasoning. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. You said what? I'm sorry. You said what? He might be. He might be what? Disappointed. 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 Mm. Monty. Mm. Still working on the motion. Mm. And the ocean. Mm. Mm. Getting seasick. Okay. Mm. So, right, 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 agree with that. right, right. Yeah. Okay. It, you agree with that too? I'm still strongly will say no. Mm -hmm. Reason being, it's because in my perspective, yeah. I feel like if I had to try it, so it, it's sex, girl. It's sex. It's, it's sex. sex. That, to, coming from the single girl, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> from the single, if I, if she I, want I, a quotation. I it. 10 it. <laughs> <laughs> if I were to try sex, let's say for example. I like it. Yeah. But it didn't work out. So now I have to marry a, a new guy. I'm pretty much sure. And the guy's not performing well. I'm prob probably going to think about the person that I try it with. I feel like it's going to be a problem mm -hmm. in my marriage. That's the reason why. Mm -hmm. I w that's the reason why I would say no. Mm -hmm. It's still going to be a no. I was going to say yes, but then I'm thinking, because you guys said, you might be disappointed. You guys, know. like, let's stop it. <laughs> she said. Okay, okay Marjorie get it right. Said, get it right. You might be disappointed. Then I uh -huh. was thinking, like, you know, is there a way we can do practice? Like, oh, practice. before practice, that's trying it before you buy it. That's the practice. Wait, wait, so wait, yes, wait, you, wait, 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 let me finish. In the me... words of someone I know, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. So, we're talking about, okay, try it before you buy it. I, I hear a lot of the sex part that you guys talk about, right? So sex was created by God. Do we agree with that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, un, un, unlike what the world is telling everybody, mm -hmm. this thing was created by God, right? Mm -hmm. For his people enjoyment. It was for us to enjoy and multiply, right? Be fruitful and multiply. He gave us sex. Boom. Mm -hmm. Got that, right? So if I'm... Oh, that's the thing. I have a problem with the word dating. That That's why I cannot get into this right now, right? Mm. Because if you're dating somebody, right, according to what the world is, like dating is getting to know someone. I mean, do you have to know them from the inside out? I mean, listen, bro, if you have to, you have to. But brother, like you don't even know somebody even when you know them. That's why you keep finding out. You learn something new every day. Yeah. Hey, man, give me some, bro. Look at that. Give me that. No, we're not, but it's cool. <laughs> now, because I'm thinking about it, right? Like, so think about this. Like, people that have multiple sex partners. Mm -hmm. I, I'm a true believer when the Bible says the two shall become one, it was, you know, talking about sex. Because mm -hmm. the only time that you come together with somebody is during sex, right? So the two shall become one. So you became one with, like, three people. And every time you every time you have sex with one person, you carry a little bit of that person with you. So think about like <clears throat> the transfer of of whatever it might be, demons and whatever that person is battling, 
with the next person, with the next person. Like, let's say you had five partners. So you got to handle all those demons within you. So when you said, you know, if you're going to be able to satisfy your husband, that might be one of the reasons why. So what would we say about the, the people that got multiple partners right before they got married, right? Yes, that, and that's why. And, and they're not battling any of that demon. Correct, because God says this, right? Jesus Christ says that, right? All your sins are passed away. Everything became new. Yeah. But Samuel, wait. Right? Hold on, hold on. Now, when you say that. Yes. You kind of open the floodgate now. I'm not opening no floodgates. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Go ahead. Pretty much we're saying, all right, make it happen. Try before you buy it. But wait. God makes everything new. No. Don't don't push it. All right. So <laughs> so okay. So okay. Just so, is here, right? No, no, no. no. <laughs> so so let's see, let's say this. Like if I didn't know something and I did it, I repent. Mm -hmm. Right. Once I know it, it's no longer oh because God forgive all things, man. Like nah, it don't work like that. You know, we, if what's if repenting? you already knew it was a sin and you commit it, mm -hmm. like there's no longer oh you know God forgive me. You know I didn't. No, it's not it's not like that, bro. I, if you know something was wrong, right, and you decided to go into it, you made that personal decision. Can God still forgive? Yes, well, that's going to be between you and God, all right? Mm -hmm. That's going to be between you and God. But what I'm saying is that there is, there is like a, a, a problem. There is a big loophole, you know, and having multiple sexual partners. Right. And that's why we're talking about satisfying your husband. Mm -hmm. You might not be able to satisfy your husband because you've been with people that's done other things that your husband is not doing. Comparing him. Right. And yeah. comparing your husband to that person is going to allow you, you know, it's not going to allow you to, you know, actually be satisfied because you have all those experiences. Experiences. But is it bad? So, is it maybe just, he just bad or she just bad? Okay, I mean, can she we, could, we could work through that though. Question. So, what if I do marry my husband? Mm -hmm. Six months come down the line, we're trying it, and I see he, he can't satisfy me. Don't you think that causes cheating? No. No. That's a good question. It doesn't cause cheating? I don't think so. Right? So, think about this. I have to fake if orgasms you, and all that. Why? But, like, why would you have to do that? Think about this. He's not satisfied. But you, not, he you, to you never going. had sex before. I said, I know how I want to be. Please. Tell me. <laughs> go ahead. Fly, right? Go, go I ahead. I feel you. Go, go yeah. ahead. You know how she want to feel. Go I ahead. Know, I know how I want to go feel. Ahead. So, if he's not making me feel that way, like, okay, yeah. So, you're going to be like. Oh. But the thing is, men have ego. You probably want to tell him, like, like, you know, baby, you're not doing it right. But, but then he don't want to listen. We to can that. work through that though. You can work through that because you're not experienced and he's not experienced. So we could go together and find out like what satisfy each other. This That's 2023. Right. Like, we, we could talk right. about that. This 2023. What, what was it? <laughs> I was gonna say oh now, but right. let's let's be honest. I, let's be honest. Oh Nowadays, God. sex is like the norm in dating and relationship. People just having sex. Right. If we be honest, I, yeah. I get that. I get that. Most. It's not even trying not anymore. All. I get that. Most. Most people. Which is the reason why I have a problem with the word dating. So, okay, I was with my wife at a young age. And at a young age, like, we courted each other. So, like, there's a big difference between dating and courtship, right? At a young age, when I courted my wife, I already envisioned her to be my wife. So everything we went through was a molding process to the woman that, you know, God wanted her to be and the men that God wanted me to be so that we can build, you know, this, the, 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 you know, our empire together. So I knew that I wanted to marry her. Whereas if I date, it's just to know the person. And as soon as I find something that is wrong, I'm out. You understand? Yeah, the There's no commitment in dating. I don't know why people think there is. There oh. is none. Because I'm dating. I'm getting to know you. I could get to know anybody else. Right? If I find something about you that I don't like, I'm going to drop you and keep that other person. Right? Thank you next. Like, and, and yeah. So, what do we say? All right. You said you courted your wife at a young age. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, what about... Those people yes. that they were dating, mm -hmm. they were dating, correct, and end up getting married. Yes, 
What do we say about them? Because are we saying their lives may not be the same? Mm. Like, what are we saying here? Because think about it. If we're saying, all right, there's dating, then there's courtship, right? Now, obviously, you know, as Christians, we put um, courtship to a higher standard because of what we got to do, right? Of the, the discipline behind it. Correct. Correct. What do we say for those folks where they they dated mm-hmm. only one person, but they had sex, obviously, right? And then they end up getting married, living the same type of life as the people that actually courting. Well, right. I think you answered your own question. The sunshine. Did I? Yeah, yeah, you did. The sun shines on everybody. The sun does not discriminate. You know who to shine on. Right, those people that were dating, that was their mindset. Like that's the person that he wanted to be with, right? So he dated her and he married her, right? But for me, as a Christian, right, I have a different mindset. Even though it's the same goal, we have different path that we are taking to that same goal, which is marriage. That's the only difference. But see, here, here, okay, here's what I'm saying. Mm. <clears throat> now I didn't answer my question because. The question is if if we're saying there's there's a difference, right? Because we put we put it as if we court it, right? There's a high percentage that we're going to marry that person because we're courting. But then there are people that are dating, whether it's one person or multiple, and they end up marrying one of these person and they are on like on the same bubble as you. Right. What do we say about that? Like, how does that work? Because for me, in a sense, I'm not seeing the difference besides having sex. Try it for, and, and it kind of proves in a way. Try it before you buy it. It's not does work. Hey, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> no, I disagree. <laughs> you disagree. I disagree because there's a spiritual aspect to the courting. Oh, there, what is that? There is a spiritual aspect to it. Right. Because you try to hold yourself to a standard. Right. Mm-hmm. There's certain things that you are limited to. There's certain temptations that you have to fight, right? There are certain things that you decide, like, this is not going to be us. It's not going to be within, you know, our courting, right? So there is a separation between, you know, the dating scene and the courting scene. Um, It all depends on, you know, how somebody else view it. But to me is we're not just trying to grow physically, emotionally, you know, but we're trying to grow spiritually. And that aspect is not in somebody that is not a Christian, right? The spiritual aspect, like like the, the whole thing about we believe in a God, like we're not doing that, right? So we're trying to grow in Christ. Yeah, that's the ideal. So I believe there's a big separation between courting and dating just because of that simple fact. That's what I was about to say. I was yeah. about to say, so with courting, once you go with the mindset, okay, I'm going to marry her. So once you have it in your head, whether it works or not, because you're already courting, because you already have in your mind that this is the person I want to marry, you're going to marry her. So isn't that going to end up in divorce? You know what? Um, I see a, I see it differently. I don't think uh, courting is a mindset. I think it's a practice. I was going to say that. Because I think, obviously, it's in our mind already, right? Okay, we're, gonna, we're going to court this person, right? But practice is where that discipline comes, right? Whether or not, if you're going to marry that person that you're courting, you don't know, mm-hmm. right? Pretty much. So it's a, to me, it's, it's a practice. And even then, when you do get married to that person, you still don't know sometimes if you want to be with them. <laughs> sometimes it's a continuous practice with a committed mindset. That's I, what I would look at. I mean, yeah, it, 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 it's both. But that's for every relationship, though. You got, but like every relationship, you got to make a decision uh-huh. if you want to be with that person or not. Like we, we have to make a decision that <clears throat> this is the person that I want for my future. That's like, that's the decision that right you have to make. Bear, like or after a certain amount of, time. and that's tough. No, it takes after, time. That's tough. No, time. that that takes time. I don't remember right there in there. Because I'm like, if it's right in there, I might as well date you before courting you. Cause to me, because it, all, know. it all it all leads to the same thing: marriage. I'm dating you to marry you. I'm courting does you to marry it? That's what I'm saying, right? Does like, it, how does it? To me, it does. Does it? Does so, what's the difference between um, dating and like courtship? What is 
Like, what is the intersection? I'm so sorry. You, I'm talking about math. <laughs> what the, is the intersection? The intersection <laughs> the, does meet at a, at, a, at a crossroad. But eventually, if you're talking about like courting and marriage, there's discipline and just let's do how we feel. We're going on our own strength and our own understanding and then, away from um, God, right? Because mm-hmm. this takes discipline. This, not really. Only discipline is uh, don't cheat. That's it. Because y'all said something that, that, mm-hmm. that strike me a little bit. Y'all said dating is a process that leads to marriage. And I, I got to disagree with that. Dating is not a process that leads into marriage. Dating is a process that leads into getting to know somebody just to see, you know, if that person is compatible with you. Then after dating, then what? After dating, then what? what you marry. Like, you try, <laughs> to tell, you try to tell me the world think about, like, marriage like that? Yes. yes. I'm, not, I'm not going to say that they don't. I think, remember, look. I believe wholeheartedly our knowledge as Christians allows us to say we're committed, we're practicing. This is a practice for us. It's a discipline. But to say that the world doesn't think about marriage, I, I can't say that because there there are people that there, there are people that probably never heard of Christ before. But they heard of marriage. But they heard of marriage. They heard of marriage. Whether it's, They're married. Whether I marry boy, girl, boy, boy, girl, girl, they get married. Well, but, wait, but, but wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> That's the one that God did not create. Like, but no. still, but no. they're the heard of marriage. Yeah. All right, so it's safe to say that marriage is the institution that is created by God that is respected by everybody, Christians or non-Christians. They just don't want to follow the discipline. They don't want to put in the work to stay right. married, but they want to get married. Yes. Well, no, no, no. Mm. Before we even go to stay to, to stay married. They don't want to put in the work to do it the right way. And the right way, according to Christ, is there is no dry humping. There's none of that stuff. You guys just stay away from, you know, from the temptation. It's going to come, but you got to put in the actual effort. And, and, and at the end, I guarantee that you will be rewarded for sure. Most better definitely. better be, because it's hard. <laughs> definitely. It's hard out here for the system. <laughs> it's hard for the system. Yeah. Was so, it hard for you guys? Yeah, maybe oh, not. <laughs> it, it was. It was hard. Jerry? I'm not gonna lie to you. It was extremely. <laughs> hard. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna finish. <laughs> no, I'm gonna finish. You could take over. I come back. <laughs> yeah, so I'll tell you this, man. Like, no cap in my rap, right? So it's one of those things where, yeah, I've I've experienced it before, and then when it's time for like, when I met my wife before she was my wife, um, it was tough. Because imagine coming from having it to not having it, having it on a regular to now you have to tell yourself to go cold turkey, right? Cold shower, cause cold turkey <laughs> that does not work, by the way. But hey, cold, cold shower, cold, cold, cold turkey, in the sense where you know you just you don't even look her way for that. Don't even look that hey, way for that. My dog used to be in love with the pillow. <laughs> <laughs> Matter of fact, speaking of pillow, right? What? <laughs> Four or five Ooh. in the morning conversation, like from like ten to like four in the morning, those type of things. That's what we did when we were before we got married. Hey, but when you can't have not, sex, you better try something else. Yeah, it's not. What I'll is tell you, else? it's not easy. Hello, talk <laughs> over the phone. That is. <laughs> well, you okay. mind me yet? <laughs> over the phone. That is. You're just asking her. I'm trying to tell She's you asking. though. Nah, but it's 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 not it's not it's not easy, man. But I'll tell you for me, yeah, it's not the easiest thing. It's it had I had to go with all my might because one I couldn't violate her obviously you know so I think it's easier if y'all don't live together Mm. you think it's easier Mm. yeah I mean, like, what do you mean you don't if we together? live together, like, Can't like, what, what was the restriction? Like, this, this, that's, that's dumb. That's matter stupid. of fact, matter yeah, of fact, that, that's stupid. If I, we don't live together, like, we might as well, like, you know, like, wh- what was the point? You're not married, so I do it. Well, first of all, stop why you living together if you're not married? First of all, stop. Right, like, stop. why are we even going there? We stop. live together. Stop. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why we went that far. <laughs> if we live together, right? We, we oh, went we, too far. We live together. It's we're not going to have seven. We're going to like obey God. What? We're not married. Did God say I anything wish, about you can't live together? I <laughs> wish, I wish a girl would <laughs> tell me to move in, 
right? And he's gonna tell me, oh, restriction. Dude, <laughs> imagine that. We're not married. So, so why? Why moving Stop. in? Listen, like that. I mean, is it a sin to move in when we're not married? Is it it's a what? temptation. Uh, that's not a sin. Oh, you, you, you could control your temptations like that? Run it back Sleep down. in different bedrooms. Sleep in different bedrooms. Oh, please. <laughs> All right. So you're telling hey, me they're not living together? I'm going to not see you the first night? I'm going to not see you the first week. <laughs> but I'm going to see you. <laughs> I'm going to see you. All right. I mean, now I understand living together. Rent is high, so I understand exactly. that. Oh, Rent is high. <laughs> Stay at your mama house, okay? <laughs> like, stop playing. But, um, I was going to say something, though, Jay. Because, mm. you know, like, so we talk about try it before you buy it since, you know. Oh, you're you going give, back to that? You, no, just, because you, you love just that give, topic. We're still in that. She's still undecided. She's in the middle. Girl, she's, I see you coming. Mother, you don't try me. No, she's we're not still, trying it. We're not trying it. She's coming my way. She's still way. trying. But I was going to say, so you just, you just tell us your story. Uh-huh. Is there anything that... Do you have any advice for men out there that's like waiting to have sex or? Oh, Chara. That's what Samuel said. Hey, but, I, um, I, I said it. Don't mean I believe it. <laughs> you know, people out there that's like waiting to have sex because you know there's certain people. I mean, we can say sex is one of the big thing in marriage because everybody mm-hmm. wanna have sex. Of course, everybody wanna experience the you know God's creation. It's it's good. So like, do you have any advice for men and women to out there that's like waiting to have sex? But then there's temptation, there's distraction, there's so many things that's happening out there that we don't even know, but we're just so focused on sex. This is where I would give y'all like a uh, uplifting Barnes and Noble bookstore that you don't have exploration. Huh? Ain't what happened? <laughs> Listen, the reality is for real. The reality is it's 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 going to show what kind of person you are, right? It's not you know oh I'm gonna do it for her or if you I'm, I'm gonna do it for him. It's going to be this. You gotta, you gotta stay at God's feet as much as you can, because it's not going to be easy. There is no template about this. There's no template how to deal with that. Mm-hmm. It's a self determination, self discipline. It's really simple mentally. If you want it or not, I told myself, "All right, I'm gonna try this." Um, and see what happens if there's a a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. And yeah. And my experience, there was a, a pot, lot a more. Of gold. Man, it was about four or five of them okay. things okay. there, just <laughs> chilling. And I thought that it was not real because I'm like, man, so if if I do this for if 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 I commit to God as a man, just not to do this, not to even tempt her to do it. Is that real, right? You hear people, um, um, people say, yeah, man, you know, God bless me more. I stay away from it. I got married. I'm like, yeah, sure. We'll see, right? But it's real. It's a self-determination, self-discipline. It's, it's whether or not you want it or not. It's that simple. There ain't no template for it. Just that simple. <sighs> Society says that <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've been hearing all these people that's like you know i'm the catch you're the catch women are the catch men are the catch we both are mm-hmm. in reality because we both bring something to the table if you think about it like the bible called men a weak vessel but the bible also call a woman a weaker vessel right so you're here for me i'm here for you like we support each other so if we both come in end with the mindset of this is what I want and you have what you want, then we could make it work, right? Because I remember like coming in, you know, to, you know, um, courting my wife. It was like I prayed a personal prayer to God that she didn't know about. And she prayed a personal prayer to God that I didn't know about. But when we started having conversations... You know, it came up. I'm like, oh, crap. I I, I, I prayed like that. But one person got to be stronger than the other. Right? Because temptation comes. Like, if we both weak together, we're going to fall. Right? So you got to just be strong for one another. That That's how I would put it. Because not everybody has Jerry's experience. Right? And Jerry's experience doesn't mean that is the wrong experience. 
that was the path that, you know, like he had to walk through. Right. And you're going to have your path that you walk through. Uh -huh. But at the end of the day is where God's name is going to be glorified within your relationship, within your marriage. Right. 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 That That's the goal. Right. At the end of the day. And young men, like it's hard for to tell a young man, yo, you need to hold it. Like I'm trying to tell y'all, man, y'all no, think y'all hot. Like we are uncontrolled. We are out of control, I would huh. say. Right. I mean, spoke for a minute. We are out of control, right? Like when we say like, yo, this junk be like crazy for us. Like, especially teenagers, ain't no holding us back. Right? <laughs> like when we get to our twenties, that's why I got married. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. That's one of the reasons why I got married. I'm like, Lord, I can't hold it no more. <laughs> like, like, you know, when I when I got to that point, I'm like, yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go. Like, let me let me get this job, body's ring. I gotta go. Oh, that's right? why you left your wedding so quick. I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go. Samuel. I got Samuel gone. I'm kapoof, like I disappeared. You know what I mean? Because like think about it, it, it is something that is that is is beautiful. It I'm is. telling y'all, it's a beautiful thing. Right, and imagine experiencing that, and I, I'm sure you could attest to that. Like when you experiencing that with the person that you love, and like just just say everything fall into place that you experience it with that person for the first time. It is a beautiful thing. It's you, a beautiful thing. Can you talking about you talking about uh, the first night, like yeah, man, like marriage, that like first, after after, yes. you, after you after you say the I wedding, do, you leave, you oh, leave no, all the no, people no, 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 behind. No, 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 no. I had a headache, so I don't sleep. Like, right. <laughs> you got, I'm so serious. You got me messed up. I wouldn't have like, this long. I just, hey, <laughs> all right, all right. Bro, I'm not going to do it with a headache. I'm like, nah, what are you going to talk about? Uh, nah, gonna I'm going to pop some talent, though. We're going to do this tonight. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, man, like, it, it's a beautiful thing, man. And I, I, I wish it, it well is. for everybody, you know. And I hope you get, you know, to enjoy that moment. Pray for me. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm yeah. a weaker vessel. Pray for me. No, we know that. <laughs> Eat Cody. <laughs> Yo. Yo. But, like, as Christians, I think we are held to a higher standard, man. Yeah. Like, we have a target on us, you know, as Christians. And um, I think it's we, should, we need to embrace that a little bit more. Yeah, now, sure. I think we run away from it, right? Like, mm -hmm. you know, for boys, like, they don't want to be called a punk, you know what I mean? Like, yo, you soft, you know, hey, you know, you don't know what you're doing, like, you're a baby, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? <laughs> Things like that. But, like, we need to hold our grounds as Christians because the world has changed, man. But yeah, man, so we had a good time with you guys. Uh, the topic today was about dating. Uh, we tapped in a little bit on uh, 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 the definition of dating, yeah. Um, we talked about trying it before you buy it. Uh, courting is right. something that we 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 um we actually spoke about. Um, so please tune in. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that follow button. All right, support us. Uh, we are here. Tap mm -hmm. in is here to stay. You hear me? All right. All right. Yeah. So here it is, y'all. Like we logging out now. So go ahead and tap to tap to tap. Tap, tap in. in. Oh, 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 oh,